Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. We're getting ready for the New York trip. This one's a pretty big deal. It combines the Open Hardware Summit, which is sort of the industry conference for the kind of stuff that we do, and the New York World's Maker Fair, which is the U.S.'s second largest maker fair, I guess. Uh, we'll be at both events. I'm talking about USB hardware on uh, Thursday at 3 o'clock, I guess, in the afternoon. And then at the Maker Fair, we'll have a table showing some different demos. And also, I guess I'm going to be in the Maker Shed. I just found out about 4.30 on Saturday. We're in the middle of packing up for New York and we leave tomorrow night, so there's not a whole lot of time. But I wanted to show you one of the demos we'll be having at our table in case you can't make it there. So what we've got here is our completed Nixie module. This is what we were working on last week. It's got two IN12 Nixie tubes in it, which count from 0 to 9. And on the back we've got some old Russian driver chips and a simple 74595 shift register. The Arduino is driving it using a dead simple sketch that just counts the numbers out and shifts them in. Here we've got a high voltage power supply for the Nixie tubes. They need about 180 volts to light up. The whole thing's powered by our ATX breakout board. So we've recycled an old ATX power supply here and we've got it plugged into the breakout board. We're taking 12 volts from the ATX supply and using it to power the switch mode power supply that boosts the 12 volts up to 180 for the Nixie tubes. And then here we're using the 5 volt rail to power the Arduino. That way we don't have to plug the Arduino into our computer in case the 180 volts goes astray, it gets shorted out to the Arduino. We only lose the Arduino, we don't lose a whole computer powering over USB. So this is all well and good. You get to see a pretty tube here, you get to see some electronics doing some stuff. But what's actually going on is invisible. And the signals from the Arduino into the Nixie display, you can't see those. And if you had some problem with your setup, something was going wrong, you didn't know why it wouldn't work, you're stuck banging your head trying to envision these invisible signals and, and why they aren't working. So what we're going to do here is bring in another piece of equipment called a logic analyzer. The logic sniffer is the logic analyzer we developed in a partnership with the Gadget Factory. It's available at Seed Studio for $50, including worldwide shipping. This is my favorite piece of digital debugging equipment. I say we do digital stuff mostly, and I hardly ever use an oscilloscope for digital stuff. The logic analyzer, though, is my best friend. What the logic analyzer does is it clips in here between the Arduino and the Nixie display. So we've got some probes, and we've connected it up to the header there. And I was going to record all the electrical signals that go over there. And I'll send it over USB to the computer, and we'll actually be able to see it on a pretty graph. That way we see what's going on. If something's broken, if it's not working, we can actually look and say, ah, oh, well, this should be low when it's high, or, or whatever. The logic sniffer is connected to the PC over USB, and now we're using Jowie's excellent multi-platform open source client. It works on everything, Mac, Linux, PC, Windows, whatever. I think there's even somebody using it on Open Solaris. So we'll start the capture. Uh, we've got all our settings configured. We acquired a signal. Channel 0 is the latch on the 595 chip. When it goes low, we can start clocking in data. Channel 1 is actually the data. If it's low, we're clocking in a 0. If it's high, we're clocking in a 1. And channel 2 is the actual clock. This is what tells the chip to read the data on the data line. So the transaction goes something like this. The latch drops low, and then the data starts off. It goes low for zero, the clock ticks up, and now we've entered a zero into the chip. Clock goes low again, we reset the data to high, and now we give it another clock tick, and now we've clocked one into the chip. And then zero, 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 one, zero, zero. Now we've got two old Russian driver chips on the back of this board and they each need four lines to control and the 595 has eight pins so we're controlling the two chips from one pin and they've got the same thing going on them and you can see here in the graph that basically we sent the same value once so we sent 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 and if you decode that you can find the number that it actually shows on the display. And a free PCB coupon to the first person who does that and post it in the comments below. Just a really quick demo today, but hopefully if you've never seen a logic analyzer in action before, if you wonder what that's all about or what it's useful for, hopefully this will show you what the logic sniffer does. This is just one of the things we'll have on our table at the Maker Faire. Stop by, take a look at it in person, see some of our new stuff too. If you're in town for the Open Hardware Summit or for the Maker Faire, 
and you're looking for something to do on the off days, that's Wednesday before the summit and then Friday between the summit and the Maker Faire, we'll be leading our uh, usual dangerous food crawl through the East Village on Wednesday night. And then on Friday, we're going to do a mini geek tour of electronics sites in New York. It's going to start off at the Manhattan Hackerspace and we'll work our way to some shops in Chinatown, a Radio Shack, who's actually, if you can believe it, gave us permission to film. This is uh, it's far too legitimate. We'll, we'll have to make fools of ourselves there for sure. And uh, finally, we'll cross over into Brooklyn and check out a store there and end up at the Maker Faire setup party, which starts, I believe, at about 5 o'clock. Next week, we're gone, but we'll be back after that with complete coverage of the New York trip. That'll include the Food Crawl, the Open Hardware Summit, the Global Geek Tour, and the Maker Fair, all rolled into one. We're going to try something new. We've done the in-depth coverage of Maker Fairs. We've done the in-depth coverage of electronics tours. Now we're going to try to make it more of a general travel video. We're going to show you what the whole trip is like from beginning to end. It uh, takes nerves of steel to step off an airplane and start filming right away, but we'll do our best. So that's it. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching.